The answer to the post-time brain teaser? Corey Callahan was the Dover Downs' leading driver for the 2009-2010 meet. Can he repeat as the champion for this meet? You'll have to stay tuned to Post Time each week to find out. Hi, I'm Heather Moffitt, and welcome back to Post Time. I don't know who is responsible. Mother Nature, Old Man Winter, Jack Frost. But, yeah, it's cold out. So let's see how our drivers adjust to the weather. So what do you think? I think you look pretty good. You make it look a lot better than I do, that's for sure. Do you like the scarf because it's really keeping me warm? Yeah, can I borrow that? Is that possible? Absolutely, because I was going to ask you, how do you stay warm? I'm loving the earmuffs there. Got some muffs. Tony Morgan made these for me. He's uh, quite the seamstress. I told him that he's going to make somebody of one hell of a wife one day. Ronnie, how do you stay warm out there on the racetrack in this cold weather? Put some clothes on. Oh, you mean you don't drive naked like you usually do during the summer? No, we dress for it. You know, we have these winter suits. Uh, if it's real cold, we'll put long johns on underneath. Uh, maybe a wool vest if it gets real cold. Um, I put a back brace on also, and uh, I put a little, little heat pack in there. Uh, in, right in the middle, there's a little patch for a heat pack. And, you know, that way you keep your organs warm, and the rest of you stays warm. Interesting. Well, you're an avid hunter, so you know all these tricks. But when you go hunting then and it's really cold out, you can't even move. At least you can come into the paddock and get warmed up, right? It depends on, you know, what kind of hunting you're doing. Uh -huh. Like what if you're polar bear hunting? I never polar bear hunted. <laughs> all right. Um, it was worth a try. Have you ever, you've hunted in Alaska, though. I, no, I did a lot of fishing up there, though. Um, I was in Wyoming hunting one time and it was really cold. It just before the bears went into hibernation and I had a big old grizzly bear chasing me up a tree. Oh, interesting. You know, talking about hibernation, I want to be a bear because I heard that you can gain like 40% of your body weight and then you get to sleep for like three months. And you lose it all, yeah. That's awesome. Vic, how do you stay warm during the cold weather? Mm, put plenty of clothes on, under armor, headbands and try to stay out of it as much as possible, but doing this, that doesn't really work. Um, so I found this picture, see this picture right here, out of my Cosmopolitan magazine. Now if you look at it, you're supposed to get warmer. Is it helping at all? Phew. <laughs> get this. Let's check out a field of claiming ladies. Number two, Little Red Dress. Made the most money last season. The five, she's a troublemaker, goes behind the gate for trainer Trish Falk. And number six, I Turtle, is coming off a win with driver Vic Kirby. Mirror off here goes Joyful Western out for the lead along with Little Red Dress. Farther out, that's Best Ditch in Town with the rail trapped in place is fourth, racing up in fifth, she's a troublemaker. Two lengths, I Turtle at the end are Shannon Silverwing and Emerald Sky. They race around the turn, Joyful Western up to get the lead. Still outside, Best Ditch in Town going after the leader. Little Red Dress has the rail in third, getting away fourth, that's trapped in place, followed by She's a Troublemaker. Another three lanes back, I Turtle. 27 and one fifth, they race by the stands and Best Ditch in Town is up to get the lead. Joyful Western back to second, followed by Little Red Dress. Trapped in place is next. And Trapped in Place comes to the outside. Little Red Dress stays in, following outside. She's a troublemaker, and I Turtle. And then it's Shannon Silverwing, Emerald Sky out from last as they go over toward the half. And it's Best Ditch in Town with the lead. Trapped in Place races up into second. Joyful Western back to third alongside that She's a Troublemaker. Down at the rail is Little Red Dress alongside I Turtle. Then it's Emerald Sky and Shannon Silverwing, 57, moving up the back stretch. And from the outside, trapped in place, joins Best Ditch in Town. Ready to try a three-wide move is She's a Troublemaker. Following that three-wide bit is I Turtle. Out between horses now is Little Red Dress. Down toward the rail, that's Joyful Western, three quarters and 125 and three. They race around the final turn. And three wide, that's She's a Troublemaker up to join. Trapped in place, those two are heads apart. I Turtle follows three wide. Between horses, Little Red Dress. And they're at the top of the stretch now, turning for home. And 
Uh, she's a troublemaker up to get the lead. Eye Turtle coming on the outside, coming through the stretch. She's a troublemaker with Eye Turtle. She's a troublemaker wins it. Eye Turtle in little red dress in 155 and one. She's a troublemaker, is the oldest in the field, but teaches her younger rivals a lesson in winning. With Corey Callahan in the bike, the 12 year old daughter of Troublemaker is victorious in 155 and 1. I Turtle took home the play spot while the show money was awarded to Little Red Dress. Come out and see all your favorite driving superstars right here at Dover Downs. There's live racing taking center stage six nights a week. Monday through Thursday, the post time's 4.30 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, the post time's at 5.30 p.m. And if you haven't been to the Dover Downs Race and Sportsbook, what are you waiting for? It features simulcasting of major harness and thoroughbred racing seven days a week from 12 noon until 12 midnight. It's also the place to take in all the professional sporting events from around the country. This is the perfect place to watch football action and cheer on your favorite teams. And don't forget there's always free parking and free admission at Dover Downs. Just call 302-674-4600 for more information or visit them on the web at doverdowns.com.